Hello, I'm Stephen Cooley, and welcome to the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. As always, it's a pleasure to have Julie Storm back on the show with me today. Love being here, Stephen. Welcome, Julie, and I think this is year 16 that we've been filming the show. We'll have to go back and look at those VHS tapes from 16 years ago sometime. I know, how time flies. <laughs> Maybe we should get one and play it uh, oh, one oh, week and, 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 and see how that goes. Today, I want to talk about just how technology-bound homes are today. And if you go out to one of the new constructions, the builders, they're selling all type of smart houses um, and, and products. And I have Comporium's Ready Home, and it is a wonderful system from my phone. Just to give you an example, I can um, control lights. I can look at a camera that's filming inside my house. I can um, change the temperature of my home, and I can set the alarm and turn it off and on. And that's just some of the things that'll do that I'm using on a daily basis. And so um, the things that will last are probably things that become very convenient to the homeowner. Some of these things that are just technology based that aren't providing convenience probably won't last. Um, most of these things are wireless and when you moved, different from 10, 15 years ago when you did Cat5 wiring and everything was um, um, tied to um, a wire, which is wireless now, you left it with the home. But a lot of these things you just unplug and take with you when you move. Um, some of these things, if you look at the Amazon Echo, you just buy it one time and they're updating it remotely now forever. And so some of this technology, you will not have to continue to replace the hardware. It will just update automatically. Um, the, um, some other things that you're just seeing is you can remotely unlock your doors for people coming in the home. You can um, remotely um, set sprinkler systems. Um, you can, as I can do, turn the heat on before I get home. I can now even in bed turn my heat down versus getting up and going to the, to the thermostat. And so just all those convenience things will last and the things that just are kind of gadgets that are not convenient won't last. It's kind of like when they invented the remote control for the TV. I used to be the remote control. Yeah, I used to be the remote. <laughs> My dad would yell for me to come downstairs and I'd say, yes, sir, and he'd say, turn the TV. And so, yes, I was too. But once remote controls came in, now TVs aren't even made with on and off buttons. Right. And so some of these technologies are here to stay, and some of them probably aren't. Um, I do have a warning for home buyers out there, and this is kind of new to the industry because the technology just really has stepped up to the plate, is that sellers are now recording who's in their home, what they're looking at while they're in the home, and what they say. And we just had two instances, and just give you these examples that happened in our office. Um, we had an open house, we had four couples come to the open house. One seemed interested, so we gave our seller feedback that four couples came, one seemed interested, and the seller said, none of those couples are interested. We were sitting at Starbucks watching the entire open house, wow. and they're all neighbors oh, wow. uh -huh. and friends of ours. Uh -huh. So we had another incident where the seller was recording the buyers, and the buyers told what they would pay, uh -huh to their agent, okay. and the agent's under buyer agency, the agent's gonna tell nobody, right. but the seller heard it uh -huh. through the cameras and the recordings in the house. And so when the buyer made the offer lower than what they were willing to pay, the seller said, I'm not taking that, I know what they'll pay. And I said, well, how do you know? And he said, I recorded them the entire time they were in my home. So those buyers probably pay 10 or 15,000 more for the house because they spoke it inside the home. So my recommendation, my recommendation to buyers is wait till you get outside to talk about money okay. and things that you would not want the seller to hear. I think it's totally fine for the seller to say here that you like the home, that this is a pretty property, et cetera. But if you're going to start talking what you'll pay for the home in terms of the contract, if you want to say something that you would not want the sellers to hear, you probably need to wait till you get outside. And agents, a lot of agents watch our show. Agents, same thing. Be very careful what you're gonna tell your client if you wouldn't want the sellers to know you said that inside the house. Really something to think about. You know. Yeah, and that is here to stay. Yes. Um, there was just an article out on, on the Amazon Echo. It actually records everything you say because it was actually a, a murder in a home and the um, FBI is suing Amazon to release everything the Echo heard because the Echo's waiting on you to say Alexa and then it comes alive. And so it has to listen to every single thing you say. Wow. 
um, I just went out to a seller's home and they had one and I was and they keep it unplugged except when they want to use it. So I'm just saying, nothing's going on in my house anybody wants to hear. So <laughs> I'm not really worried about, that worried about it. But if you've got something going on that you probably don't want people to hear, you probably want to go reach over and unplug some of these technology-based things. But um, um, I, I, the technology is here to stay. It's evolving daily. Um, things are, uh, the, the, they've probably got things coming out right now. I was just reading an article about um, a smart home in the year 2020, and there are things that are just coming out that we wouldn't, wouldn't even believe um, at the moment. I know, I used to watch the Jetsons when I was little, and I was like, wow. And we are now I living know. in the Jetson we world. Really are. <laughs> we seriously are. So just some information there. Technology's great, and the good thing about it, I think, from talking about this is most of it is so wireless now, you just take it with you as you move where you used to have to leave your alarm system behind, all your other things behind, and now you just can unplug them and take and them And alarm systems these days are really a great idea. To yeah, they're amazing, and being able to turn them off and on remotely from your phone. Again, again the Ready Home is a wonderful system that Comporium offers. I use it daily. Um, you can hook lights to it. You can do lots of things with it. I'm probably just using about half of those things. But, um, and, and that's available to everybody in our viewing area. Absolutely. So. Julie, thanks for being on the Thank show today. You. We've got beautiful homes with a lot of technology in them for sale in your area. So please stay tuned and we'll be right back. I hope you've enjoyed watching the Stephen Cooley Real Estate Show. If you're interested in advertising your business on the program, please give us a call at 803-326-2777. Join us next week for more discussions on real estate topics and help in finding your perfect home. Thanks for watching.